Hi, I'm Jonathan from Make Science Easy. Today, I really want to talk to you about something that's been bugging me for a while, and it's homeopathy. Now, lots of people decide that they want to be treated by homeopathy instead of regular medicine. Well, the problem that we have with that is that homeopathy is what we call pseudoscience. So I'm going to be looking at why homeopathy is such a bad idea, and hopefully explaining to you why it's nonsense. Now, what I've got in front of me here are 20 shot glasses and they are all filled with water. There's 35 millilitres in each one. And we're going to perform some homeopathy today and I'm going to show you how we can turn this water into homeopathic medicine. So, I've also got a bottle of bleach. It is unopened. And if you can see it, probably not, but there is a sign on it. It says corrosive. This is not the kind of thing that you want to be putting in your body. Now, before I do anything, any experiments, before I make the homeopath homeopathic medicine, I'm going to tell you how homeopathy works. At least in theory, how it works. The more I dilute this bleach, the more potent it's going to become. So, the more water I add to it, the stronger this bleach is going to become. Now, any homeopathic medicine that someone takes, if you're ill, it will cure you of those symptoms. But according to homeopathy, if you're healthy and you take a homeopathic medicine, it will give you the symptoms of the illness. So, if I drink a homeopathic bleach solution, it should make me very, very ill. So I should be worried by this, shouldn't I? Well, I'm probably not going to be. So, let's start off. I'm going to open my bleach. It's never been opened before. And I am going to fill the bleach, 35 millilitres of it, into a shot glass. Now I'm not going to be drinking it just yet. I'm going to be diluting it down the way a homeopath would. So, what will a homeopath do? They're going to take 1% of this bleach and they are going to add it to the first shot glass. They're then going to take 1% of that and put it onto the next one, and the next one, and the next one, until we've diluted it down 20 times. This 20 times dilution is going to be incredibly strong, according to homeopathy. So, if I've got 35 millilitres of bleach in here, I'm going to need to take 1% of it. That's 0.35 of a millimetre. I can just about do it with this syringe but it's going to be pretty hard to get that little. Also, just so you know, to the side, I have some fresh water for cleaning my syringe if necessary, and I have a wastewater glass. Nothing particularly exciting about them. So, let's get the first bit of bleach. Now, that's one milliliter of bleach. This is almost, this is far too much. I only need 0.35 of a milliliter. So, let's get rid of some of this bleach. I've actually got 0.4 of a milliliter in here, so I'm actually making my concentration a bit too strong. But that's okay, I don't think it matters. So, let's add it to the first shot glass. So I now have my bleach in here. So this is now starting my homeopathic dilution. But I've got to do this the way that homeopaths do, because if I don't, they're going to say I'm cheating. So one other thing that homeopathy says, is that you need to agitate your solution. In order to do that, I'm going to put a hard lid on it and I'm going to shake it. Now, the more it gets shaken, the stronger the dilution or the stronger the potency. So, you can see, I'm probably not going to be wanting to drink this either. So I need to repeat my process now and every time I'm going to add zero, well, 1%, so 0 0.35 millilitres of my solution to the next shot glass. To keep it fair, I'm going to clean out my syringe and let's do it again. So, 0.4 of a milliliter. Not a lot. So again, I add it in and I mix it. Now we can already see there's not a great deal in here. It really isn't going to be very strong. But this is what homeopathy says. It says the more dilute your solution is, the more potent it is. This goes against everything that we know that science tells us. 
It makes absolutely no sense to have less of something makes it stronger. That really is illogical. But homeopathy is. So if you've ever tried a homeopathic medicine, all you're really getting is either water or sugar. You're not getting anything else. So, do you really want to be treated by water? Is that what you think is going to help you to get better? The chances are, it's not. There's also something else that homeo homeopaths think. They think that water has a memory. They think that water can remember everything that it's ever had in it. Well, if that was true, wouldn't all the bad things be in it? Homeopaths don't think so. Maybe it's because they haven't agitated it enough. Who knows? So, we're already getting along. We've diluted this five times. So we now have what a homeopath would call a 5C solution. Now I'm going to be really honest with you. I would probably be happy to drink this now. But homeopathy says it should be at least 20C, 20 dilutions. I've got 15 more to go. It's going to be a fairly long ride. So let's try and get this done as quickly as we can. Add my solution, agitate it one last time, make sure everything is completely ready. So I've now prepared a 20C solution. Is this going to make me ill? It's very unlikely. If I was to drink this shot of bleach, this would probably put me in hospital. If homeopathy works, this should be much more dangerous. Well, let's see. No ill effects, no problems. I'll let you know if I have to go to hospital later, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, I'm afraid to say homeopathy is complete and utter nonsense. There is no basis in it in science whatsoever. Now, if you want to find out more about science, if you want to learn about why things like homeopathy don't work, if you want to understand the fundamentals of science, then visit us at www.makescienceeasy.com. I'm going to put the URL on the video, so don't worry if you didn't get it. We've got loads of courses to teach you about science, including a free course on scientific literacy. This is going to be perfect for anyone who wants to learn the fundamentals of science to understand why stuff like homeopathy is nonsense and to be able to understand these things for yourself. So, don't try this at home, don't play with bleach, unless you really know what you're doing. Hope that's been interesting, hope you've learnt lots, keep learning. Now, the version of this video you've just seen was sped up in the middle. Now some of you might be saying, hang on a minute, this is edited, this is cheating. I just want to let you know, if you click the link below, you can watch the whole unedited thing and you can see there was no cheating going on that I've just shown that homeopathy does not work. So, if you're sceptical at all, watch the whole thing, enjoy. Keep learning.